What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So guys today we are going to be answering one of the most important question in any market today and that is should you be selling your stocks for cryptocurrency? Obviously stocks have been falling like crazy lately especially in those high growth and tech sectors yet the cryptocurrency market is in all time highs and is on the largest bull market that we have ever seen in crypto history. And I'm going to tell you and I haven't really heard this talked about yet at all throughout YouTube or really anywhere but I think one amazing major reason why this stock market is following so much yet crypto is going up so much is because a lot of investors are transferring their money out of the stock market and into cryptocurrency because it is literally the new hype just a couple of years ago nobody even knew what the word cryptocurrency was nobody knew what bitcoin was and nobody definitely knew what coins like xrp dogecoin binance coin litecoin no one knew any altcoins whatsoever now cryptocurrency is literally a household name and probably 80% of the people that you talk to and 100% of people in the investing world know exactly what cryptocurrencies are they know about Bitcoin and they know about all of the altcoins so personally I do believe a lot of money is shifting out of the stock market and into cryptocurrencies causing the stock market to fall and causing the crypto market to continue to rise so that yields the question should you be doing the same and at what percent level should you have a hundred percent of your portfolio into cryptocurrency or should you split it 50 50 and we're going to answer all of that in today's video and i'm going to tell you right up front here it has a lot to do with your age and your risk tolerance now guys before we get into things if you guys enjoy all i ask is please hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notifications so you do not miss a video and just give me a smash on that like button those are all free ways to really help support the channel and guys i really appreciate it anyways though so here's how the video is going to go we're going to talk about the stock market here look at some different stocks and what is currently going on with them we're also going to be looking at the stock market for the future what do we think is going to happen in the near future and that is going to determine should we be shifting our money out of the stock market and into cryptocurrency so definitely stay tuned for the entire video because we have a ton to talk about but anyways if we start with major companies like apple incorporated obviously apple is a massive company they have over a two trillion dollar market cap apple is suffering lately they're down to $129 a share and just a couple of weeks ago or really just a few days ago they were well into the 130s and they have seemingly been falling over the last several weeks and you can see this major drop off right here do you guys know what this major drop off was from yes it was from a good earnings call Apple had amazing earnings, they beat EPS, and they beat revenue by something like $12 billion. Absolutely insane, yet Apple stock is still falling. Then we have companies like Amazon. Amazon, another massive company. They're down almost 6% in the last 5 days, and that is unheard of, and once again, this big dip. I bet you can guess it by now, but that was after an earnings beat. They beat EPS and they beat revenue. And we can see this with a ton of large cap companies. They're all beating revenues, producing amazing numbers for EPS, yet their stock prices are falling. And once again, I really think because there is a big shift coming out of the stock market right now and into cryptocurrencies now this doesn't mean this will last forever but i do believe that is what is happening right now along with a ton of uncertainty in the market that is leading to a sell-off in the stock market and companies like apple and amazon are really just the start of it we have our other companies that we have been invested in for quite a while like nano dimension nano dimension was once a 16 dollar stock now it is down almost 60 percent to six dollars just under seven dollars a share absolutely crazy a 60 percent drop from this company then we also have companies like bio nanogenomics this company was once a 16 dollars stock once again and now it is down to five dollars and 75 cents which is literally a 63 percent drop so now we have been invested in bngo for quite a while actually back here at about two dollars and fifty cents so we still are up quite a bit on this stock but we once were up over 500 percent on this play and guys we did take profits along the way if you have been in the channel for a while so we should still be in profits but nevertheless right now is an absolute bloodbath in the stock market specifically for these small cap companies and palantir once again is no different they have been in this channel of around 20 dollars per share for a while now and that is from highs of over 40 dollars per share and don't even get me started on the ev market guys the ev market is getting absolutely crushed 
We have NEO at $37 a share. And we have other companies like Churchill Capital Corp at $19 a share. Take a look at this. If you guys don't know, Churchill was a $58 stock once. Now they're down 66% to under $20 per share. And all this is happening while the S&P 500 is reaching new all-time highs almost every single day. And guys, I can pretty much sum that up for you right here. You can see, so if we look at forward PE, this is for the S&P 500, 400, and 600, looking at large cap stocks, mid cap stocks, and small cap stocks, and we can see where the money is flowing into. So this is a forward PE ratio, so price to earnings, kind of showing you where these companies are valued at and if they're overpriced or not compared to historical moments so all the years are on the bottom here and we can see where they currently sit at now if we look at large cap stocks here we can see 2021 this was just updated and we can see look how high this pe ratio is compared to historical times it hasn't been this high since the early 2000s so we can see 15 16 17 18 19 all the way pretty much from 08 at the lowest here we still have never been to highs like these. So that's just showing you kind of how overvalued and how much money is flowing into these large cap stocks, which obviously is why the S&P 500 is reaching new all-time highs almost every single day. But then we come down here, we look at mid cap stocks, and we can see that their current PE ratios get a little better to historical times. Still high, but definitely a little bit better. And then we take a look at small cap stocks, and we can see that their forward PE is literally right on track from prior years, which is a very good sign. And these are stocks around that one to five billion dollar market cap. And these are a lot of stocks that we talk about on this channel. So it kind of shows you where the value is. These stocks are getting down to a very good valuation, as you can see from the major sell off in a lot of these small cap stocks. Nevertheless, though, these higher large cap stocks may be something to stick away from unless this rally is just going to continue, but they are looking very overpriced at this moment. So that is pretty much what is going on in the stock market lately. There is a lot of uncertainty in the market, and I do believe a lot of money is flowing away from stocks and into cryptocurrency. The question is, is that a smart idea? And if we jump over to cryptos here, looking at the last seven days at Bitcoin, 6%, Ether, 23%, Binance Coin, 15%. Shout out to the Doge coiners out there, 69% in the last seven days. Guys, this is where the money is flowing into. And if you have bought pretty much any cryptocurrency in the last several months, you are up dramatically. Drop me a comment below which cryptos you have picked up in the last couple of months, if any. And now here's exactly what I think as far as portfolio allocation. I'll be straight up front with you guys. Do I personally think you should completely sell out of your stock portfolio and put that all into cryptocurrencies? And the answer is no, if you wanna take the safe route. It is definitely not the smartest decision in the world to take all of your money out of the stock market and put it into cryptocurrency because as good as these returns are the crypto market is extremely risky so i've been in the crypto market since about 2016 2015 2017 right around here made my first investment in the crypto market in 2017 but i've been watching it for years prior and guys look at this massive bull cycle i bought crypto the whole entire way up this bull cycle all the way up it i bought then we hit the peak here at december 20th 2017 on bitcoin and the altcoins hit their peak around january 2018 ever since then we have been in a three year bear market these stocks came crashing down and we had a long period of consolidation from 2018 all the way to 2020 then obviously pretty much ever since the cv hit and after that since we have recovered cryptos have shot up dramatically look at these all-time highs these are absolutely insane. This is something we never would have predicted just three years ago. But this is exactly why you should have some of your money into cryptocurrency. This is also why you shouldn't allocate your entire portfolio to cryptocurrency. As you can see, now I personally do not think this will happen again if you guys have been watching some of my videos, but we did go through a three year bear market. So if your portfolio was down to 50, 60, 70, and even 80% 
through a three-year period would you be scared would you be able to hold on to that and importantly do you have enough time remaining that you don't need to access that money because obviously you're not going to want to pull out your cash at 80 percent losses so that is the question you have to ask yourself now personally i think there is so much money so much hype so much hodlers nowadays that i do not think we're going to go through another bear market like this nevertheless there will be a bear market cryptos will drop just like everything else they will not go up forever but I do not think it will be as dramatic as from 2018 to 2020. So this is absolutely not financial advice, but personally, I think you should have about 50-50. That's 50% of your portfolio allocated into the stock market and 50% allocated into different cryptocurrencies. This is if you have about a medium risk tolerance. That means you're not going to have to access this money for quite a while and you're willing to take some risk for some major returns. Now, if you have absolutely no risk left in your life, and you are getting ready to retire soon maybe allocate something like 10 to 20 percent into cryptocurrency that you know you can risk this money in the chance for getting massive returns however if you are young if you guys are a young investor out there who wants to take some massive risks you guys are making some money and you have money to take some massive risks then i do think you should have a large portion of your portfolio into cryptocurrency that is something like 60 to 80 percent allocated into cryptocurrency and to be honest that is exactly the range where i sit at right now and that is personally because i can stomach three-year bear losses i've already done it i've already been through a three-year bear market i've held through this entire time and i continue to buy even on the way all the way up so if another bear market like that would happen i would have no problem holding once again and the money that i do have allocated into there i don't necessarily want to throw away but nevertheless it's not going to affect my life if i didn't have it for the next three years and that is where it becomes very important to determine your risk tolerance if you are if you do have some risk left in your portfolio that i do think you guys need to allocate some money into cryptocurrency and obviously this is not financial advice whatsoever you guys need to do your own research first but i'm just giving you my personal opinion and when you talk about what crypto should i invest in now when you talk about the big ones the more safe ones like the apple the amazon of the stock market you are talking bitcoin and ethereum these two coins always recover and they always hit new all-time highs Bitcoin was $3,000 back in 2020 of March, and Ethereum was something like $70 to $90. Some people thought it was completely over for cryptocurrency, but of course, all you have to do, hold on, do not listen to the media, and guys, look where these coins are right now. And they have done this multiple times over and over again. They crash hard, and then they come back even stronger. And now, with all the money flowing into cryptocurrencies, these are definitely two coins that I would not mind holding through a bear market whatsoever, because I I know that they will recover now when you talk about more risky coins coins that can make you a ton of money in a very short amount of time then we're talking about coins like dogecoin xrp cardano polka dot we have litecoin Chainlink, stellar v chain these are all some of my favorite coins that i personally invest in as well now you guys should know this already but xrp is my favorite coin out there currently and is my largest holdings and i continue to build out my cryptocurrency portfolio i definitely don't want all my eggs in one basket but i do have a lot of eggs in one basket so therefore if that coin would run up dramatically i would have enough money to pull out some gains if you're into cryptocurrencies i also recommend taking some gains along the way people that lose to cryptocurrencies are the ones that just huddle and they, they pretty much just keep holding the bag when the bull market ends i do advise whenever you get into crypto have your price targets that you want to sell at already laid out so you're going to sell 10 percent when it goes 50 percent up you're going to take out your whole initial investment when it goes up 100 percent, and then you're going to let the rest ride to see where it goes maybe that's your strategy or maybe it's something else just have a strategy and follow your plan but guys the stock market will recover don't worry it will recover it always does in fact now is just a good buying opportunity for investors who want to build out some more positions so i do my non-financial advice is to build out your positions in the stock market but also continue to build out your crypto portfolio you want to be well diversified in many different assets so that way you can reap returns no matter what asset class is in the bull market or bear market so i really hope that answers the question of my non-financial advice opinion on whether you should sell your stocks 
stocks for cryptocurrencies. A lot of that depends on your risk and we went through all of that in today's video so definitely let me know what you think and let me know your favorite crypto holdings down in the comments below. With that said though guys that is all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I thought this video was extremely important to share with you guys because some of you guys may literally just be starting to hear and learn about cryptocurrency. So I hope it was valuable. If you guys learned something make sure to subscribe, smash the like button and as always I will see you guys in the next video.